Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your bigger hit, bigger hit, huge monster hit from the dab lamp, dab of the day. I need it so badly. Life's a series of peaks and valleys. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. But we have to remember it's the difficult times where we need a little more support and a little more guidance and a little more effort. So how we respond in our moments of defeat defines the type of person we are. When we can improve our ability to navigate difficult times, we not only live a happier life, but we're gonna grow as a person also. So here's some ways, because I'm having a tough time to get through those difficult times. Let's get started. You gotta stay positive. That's right, unbelievably reality sets in if you're negative. So it's a cliche, but staying positive is a little part small part of getting through the difficult times, but it's important. When you stay positive, you're putting yourself in the best position possible to not only make it through the bad times, to flourish and become a better person as well. So you can do one of two things when life takes a turn for bad, for the worst. You can remain positive and remind yourself that there really is a light at the end of the tunnel and you'll make it through. Or you can curl up in the fetal position, relegate yourself to being nothing more than a victim of circumstance. Mrs. Stoner is going to yell at me for doing too much today. I'm going to yell at myself. But sometimes that's how I stay positive through this type of thing. So it's not saying you're never going to have a bad day or get discouraged or cry about it. But we have to pick up the pieces of whatever we've got and move forward to the next day. Time moves. If you get stuck and lose motivation, which is easy, okay, you've got to find a way to be resilient. Let's talk more. We've got to get creative. That's right. You cannot change your situation. you got to deal with it. But there are other times when you can actively work to make the situation better. Might not be in plain sight. Might not be on a piece of paper. Might not be on the internet. Okay, you gotta look at the bigger picture. Gotta get creative during the difficult times because what happens is you might create the solution that'll help somebody else. What do you think of that? And then where would you be if you didn't do it? You gotta learn from these times. I find that when my pain is the worst like it is now and has been for a couple of days, I look at Mrs. Stone or I even look at myself, I go, you know what, can it get worse? You know, you look at these things and you have to learn from them, okay? I'm in the middle of an ugly thing right now. But I tend to pick things apart and see what went wrong and what I could have done differently. And you know what I get from that? Not frustration, believe it or not, not wood. I always end up learning something saying, if I do it a little different the next time, maybe it won't be so bad. And unfortunately for me, I'm living the cyclical life. Things do come around hope and opportunity has missed me, but I'll catch it on the next time up. So getting through the difficult time, your chances of having it happen again, you have to think about that. So if you're going through something like I go through, which is pain related, and it's going to come again, you can't shut the door, lock it and say, done. So maybe you change it up. Maybe you change it. And what I'm saying is what you want to do during a difficult situation is you don't want to be in it any longer than necessary. But what if the solution is something you can't implement right this moment? You got to take note of it, you got to move on, and you got to get to where you can use it. And the point is to learn from that difficult time again, and you're going to come to embrace the solution because it came out of the experience itself. So you'll become a lot more resilient than you give yourself credit for if the method you use is take note of the bad thing. It's happening or it's happened. Take note of how you dealt with it and have that in your quiver of solutions for the next time. You know what? What are you grateful for? Know it. Because gratitude means showing appreciation for all the good you have instead of focusing on the horrible or the negative. 
So maybe what we want to do is get clear clarity on what we're grateful for. Before I go into the hospital, besides giving Mrs. Stoner all the passwords and information she doesn't have about our lives, we share everything, but there are things that I might have just left unshared. I'm also going to write down what I'm grateful for. And I'll tell you why. Because it's more than Mrs. Stoner. It's more than my son. It's more than my daughter. It's more than sugar. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for the opportunity to talk to all of you. I'm grateful for being the person I am. So you know what? That's the point. You got to identify, and that's only a teeny portion of what I'm grateful for. It's amazing how it can motivate you, knowing what you're grateful for. So, you know what? You'll find that things are less significant when you're going through these horrible things. But guess what? They're insignificant when you're going through good things. You only need these types of things when you're in bad situations, difficult times. But make sure you gather what you're grateful for. Remember to focus on what you can control and not what you can't. Remember the serenity prayer. That's exactly what it is. Some situations are just beyond your control. I'm dealing with it right now. So I am not saying to myself, oh, senior stoner, you screwed up because you haven't controlled the situation. There's no control. It's out of control. And when you realize that, you realize it means you've come a long way. So you know what's happening? There are mild milestones in life. There are milestones in situations and in growth. Think of the milestone once you realize that there are things you can't control. Think of, you should pencil, print that date, stamp it, put it in gold bars, neon lights, that date, whatever that was, that we realize, individuals realize that they can only control certain things and they got to focus on those. So maybe we even extend this beyond ourselves. Maybe we build a better social community for ourselves. Maybe what we find is that we now enhance our relationships that we have. I'm not saying go out and make a whole lot of people friends. I'm saying enhance those people you're lucky enough to have correspondence with right now. Turn a, turn a friend into a better friend. Turn a better friend into a best friend turn an acquaintance into a friend. Maybe we do that. And because of that, we will have more people who care. We will have more people who are concerned about us. Remember, it's a two-way street. Because what this is all doing, what you're doing for yourself with all of this, is you're trying to be kind to yourself. You're trying to survive the tough time. You're, you're trying to take a walk in that virtual park. You want to forgive yourself because I think the natural response to horrible pain, difficult situations is, God, you know what? F, you know what? My God, that's not happening to me. But you know what? And if it is, fuck, yeah, all kinds of words about everybody else, but you know, oh my God, I didn't do it. You know what? It's happening. So you take ownership of it happening, you can forgive all the rest of the people out there who you originally blamed it on. Because when bad things happen, people don't go like this. I, I caused it. People say, you did it. Let me find out who did this to me. Who did that? What did that to me? What did that to me? So forgive. And forgive yourself you're obligated to forgive yourself because if you don't, the problem will, I guarantee, get worse. So all of this, all of this is new, but it's about an old topic. How do we get through the most difficult times? Well, I hope I helped. Take our diamond hit. I believe this is Mendo breath. We're going to do a cold load into an amazing strong device okay i need today the amazing strong device so i'm glad you're with me to take this big hit i don't want to cough but i might not be able to stop myself here we go and there is a noise in the circuitry i read about this on their website i i, I asked a question 
there's a noise in the circuitry. It's natural for the system. They're seeing if they can make one without, but it actually makes me aware that it's on, okay? And it's so it's a relatively good thing in this house. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe. Join the Senior Stoner family. Love to have you. I also enjoy the likes and please send those comments. I respond to everyone. Here we go. Go on, boy. <coughs> Excuse me. great day and thanks for watching <coughs> the real senior stoner <coughs> cheers <coughs>